So welcome to another bootstrap tutorial. In this video we're going to be creating the table that will go inside our modal. And these tables can be placed anywhere, not just in modals. Uh, but we're going to put it in the modal just for the sake of it. So currently, in the previous tutorial, we created this modal and we just put some uh, placeholder text. What we're going to do now is remove this text and replace it with the table. So what I'm going to do is just drag that over there. And we're going to remove this here and create some space. So first what we're going to do is create a table and close that off. And inside this table we're going to have the table header. So for that we're going to do t head, t head and close that off as well. And then just add some space. And inside here we can have our table rows. So we're going to create a table row. And for this we'll need to know a bit of HTML. Well, you should know HTML if you're following the series, but you'll need to know about tables. So we create a table row, and inside here we create table data, like that. And we're going to duplicate this three times for our three rows. Now here we're going to have feature, cheap plan, and rich plan. So if we save that and bring this over here, refresh, and view plans, you see we've got our table although nothing's really being structured. So now what we're going to do is add some styles to it. So this is really easy with Bootstrap. We do class is equal to table and this will give it the table formatting. So save it, refresh, view plans. So now it's all structured out. But what, what if we want to give it this uh, striped kind of theme? So that's easy as well. We're just going to go table dash striped. So now if we save that, refresh, oh wrong one, refresh view plans, and we don't see the stripes at the moment because we've only got one a row because you see the top row isn't got is just white, the second row should be silver. So now what we're gonna do is create a T body tag. T body Oh, screen that up. Right, okay. So in here we can have our TR for table row and our table data. And again, we'll need three of these as we had three before. And then what we can do is we can duplicate these for each row that we want. So for column one, we'll have uptime, and this is 1% and 0.2%. The next one is storage, and this will be 1%, oh sorry, 1 bit, and 12 bits. Then the next one is going to be MySQL databases. You can obviously put your own data in here, but I'm just going to be putting these half a database. I don't really know how half a database works, but yeah, and one database. Next thing I'm going to do is PHP 5, and both of these are no. I'm just going to leave it like that for now, so save that. And if we refresh this, view plans, and you see we've got our table and we've got our styling on here. So you can add your extra rows. I'm not going to bother and place all the other rows in here, but you can if you want. You can obviously also put buttons and things inside this table if you wish. So you might have a button down here saying purchase or purchase down here. But that's up to you. But that's pretty much it for the tables. Um, there are some other tables that you can use, but you can look on the Bootstrap site for those uh, for other styling. And I'll leave the link to the documentation below for the tables. So that's for this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you found it useful. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.